Here we're showing how we utilize a segue endoscopic cubital tunnel system for endoscopic fasciotomies in the lower extremity. You can see how this guide fits together. They slide, essentially leaving a channel between the two levels of the guide for the fascia to insert between. Then you have an anti-grade push knife. So here I've got the guide assembled. I've made one incision, 10 centimeters proximal to the lateral malleolus for the anterior lateral compartment. I get a small nick in the fascia itself, and I insert the dilators above and below the fascia, which then allows me to insert the guide once it's assembled above and below the fascia. This gives me clear visualization of my fascia. It also gives me the opportunity to advance the guide further so I can continue to incise my fascia without coming out of my smaller incision. I make a roughly a four centimeter incision to introduce the guide, and then just advance the guide down in this case towards the center of the ankle, so I avoid any risk of atrogenic injury. So you can see, formerly I was above the fascia, now I'm below the fascia. The muscle is well protected from being incised. And I can advance my guide deeper into the fascia. So I'll start initially at the distal incision and work down towards the ankle. Then I'll reverse the guide and work proximal. Then I'll make a secondary proximal incision. Advancing the guide distally, I'm able to connect the distal fasciotomy to the proximal fasciotomy. And then reversing the guide once more, I'll work proximal towards the knee and complete the proximal limb of my fasciotomy. So it allows me to do a very minimally invasive fasciotomy without having to worry about the blind tips of my scissors encountering any muscle or straying off of the fascia itself. And it gives me a great deal of security when releasing this fascia through a minimally invasive technique. So you can see here we're doing our anti-grade knife pushing through the fascia. There's no tension on the fascia in terms of a coker. I just got the guide that's been assembled and slid up the fascia itself. You can see as the knife goes through I'm able to get an excellent release and now I can just advance my guide further to give me a little bit more fascia to incise here. Once I've reached the proximal and distal aspects, then I'm able to put my fingers in the incisions and ensure that I've got complete release of the fascia. And you can see we really have a nice dry field. And we have clear visualization the entire time. So you can see my two incisions. So proximal to malleolus, 10 centimeters, a 4 centimeter incision. And then basically I just double the length of the guide to determine where my secondary incision needs to be to ensure that I can get all the way to the proximal aspect of the fascial compartment.